Hello YouTube, I am back with another very bizarre microcontroller that is um, not that common, not that easy to use. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the all-winner W806. All-winner is a company in China that manufactures some pretty beefy looking controllers. Got a lot of RAM, a lot of processor speed, some of them even have Wi-Fi support. But... They are, but like some other companies that have made controllers in China, they have um, forgot the most important thing about controllers, the ability to program them. This controller is a pretty strong one, although there is none of the software to properly support this controller. This is one of the, the W800 series. There is no information about anywhere about this online. There is another YouTube video that talks about this, only one, but it used a sketchy software to upload a demonstration code. I'm going to be the first one ever to tell you how we can use this in Arduino. Now this controller is easier to program, although the software support is a lot lackluster in functionality than the one from the CH552, and the project may be abandoned. So it will no longer go any farther. The only function that it supports is pin, pin management, analog inputs, and PWM. It supports nothing else. Although the controller itself supports though, the software package is unfinished and may stay like that forever. I hope someone sees this video and actually tries to fork, fork their project and or make their own version of it that is more finished. Somebody please make a better version of the, of the library to control this. Now, um, this controller is a pretty fast one, got a lot of GPIOs, it's got 240 megahertz of speed, it's got one megabyte of program space, and I forgot how much RAM, but it's a pretty good amount. And, it, and wait, this, and there's a voltage regulator here, free UZ LEDs, your reset button, and your program button. This here is not a flash chip, however, it's actually a serial converter. A more stripped-down version of a CH340 converter. It's smaller and cannot unlock it into program mode. It already has enough pins for power supply, data management, for USB bus, and the thing over here. And maybe a power selecting pin. I don't know, I don't know if the 8th pin is unused or what, but... The thing is, this controller here is not as flexible as, for example, the 16-pin ones. There's only an 8-pin one. Now, there is indeed, in fact, an, an actual Arduino library that works for this controller. And I'm going to go into GitHub. I did, I, like, like the last video, I still didn't close anything off. I, I, I went straight to the next one, and I'm going to upload them all at once. So we can go and get off this page here now. And now, I think it's on my recent... My recently viewed, I don't know. Okay, these two right here. The one by No Lab Org and Highlink Do We Know. They're both the same driver, except one is less finished. Let's go into one by No Lab Org. This same user, there is actually a fake version of Arduino Nano. It's called, and it's not an 18 mega, it's an LGT something. I, I have to, it's uh, basically a very fake version of an Arduino 18 mega 328P controller. It's fake and it's not really that good, it's hard to program and it needs an extra board package. They say it's compatible with the original package but you need a board package that is designed by the same user here and it's more developed than this one here is. Now, um, but we're not talking about that fake Arduino Nano. We're talking about this controller right here, the W806, W806, whatever. Now, this library here is unfinished. There are no active releases. There is a download link, but it does not work. It's all in Chinese, but here's a download link right here, but it does not work. There is another version by a different seller, I mean, a different user that... It has the same contributors on it, 
but it's a the same link, but the word proxy is removed. It is this one right here, Tile Link Duino. This is the one you want to download. It is unfinished, and the product might be abandoned. But it does actually have a promising hull driver. Hull drivers are basically a more complex way to drive certain components of the controller more efficiently. ESP32 controllers have them, and so do STM32s. I don't, I don't know if Raspberry Pi Picos do, but other controllers, not so much. It's all in Chinese, though. But down here is the link. Wait. Um... Oh wait, they they have both the old link on here and a new link. They're both the same, but the word proxy is removed. I thought it was some changing or something, I don't know. This here is the link right here you want to use. Copy it into your preferences folder. Your preferences under addition on board manager you were all like we saw in the last video. Yeah, then just go search their name W80X in the board manager we go to arduino here um well, i got a lot of programs i got i've got to close my files on here okay so let's start with the serial the basic blink test well i think i have another version of this that is specifically designed for this control let me just find it it's I gotta find it. I, I have one that's designed just for this one right here. Um, I guess... Actually, I don't really remember where it have one that I believe designed to... Let me just scroll through these a little bit. Um, I don't remember which word. I don't remember where it's at or what it's called. Um, I'm sorry. Give me a few minutes here. Um... Okay, forget that. I don't know where it went. Okay, so here, let me select the board. You have to, here it is, W80X boards. I know I should probably tell you where to install this from, but you just gotta search for, for the last one. You have like this, this, this easy. Sorry, I'm having speed trouble. It's pretty easy. So you select the board right here, W80X underscore Duino. Here are your board options. Well, you set your procedure too. This is the frequency selection. This board supports W806 and 805 processors. We will keep the upload speed at default. This here is for flash erasing. I'll keep it all erased or active just in case. But, um, so we make, now the board I'm using is a W806. Now, we plug in our micro USB port here. So we have our micro USB plugged in to the controller. We are going to choose one of these three LEDs on here to flash. Sorry for not focusing. Um, there are three LEDs on PB port B0, port B1, and port B2. I already have a code on here for pulse modulation. For some reason, one of the LEDs is not flashing on it. I don't know why, maybe like a software bug or something. But yeah, um, so this, you get to program mode like an ESP32 or an ARM controller. Unlike the CH552, you enter this like a standard controller. What you want to do is you want to hold down your re your program. You hold down program, tap reset. You hold down the boot button. You tap reset, then you let go of the boot button about a, month, about a second later. This library will not automatically enter program mode. I think I know why. The converter chip on here is very lackluster in, in hardware. But it does work, trust me. So, we have this right here. We gotta set our pin to one of the free LEDs. I will start 
by PB0. Like that. Use a caps lock if you don't want to push shift all the time. The port is already selected from when I do the other controller, since they had the same converter chips on, the different styles. We're just gonna hit upload. It will it, it won't it's not gonna restart itself either. After you program it, you have to make sure you push the reset button after you program it. It will stay down here to do so in the output window. But I must warn you, this library is more unfinished than the GH552 library is. I think I already told you that a few minutes ago, but I forgot. I'm sorry about that. It's, down, it's downloading the boards. It says, please mainly reset the device. When well, you press your reset button on here. I'm starting with the basic serial blink test. And as you can see, it works fine. But not, not the serial blink test, but the regular blink test, I meant to say. This control, the software support for this does not support serial, therefore you can't print anything from your menu. I did not solder pins through it because I didn't, I can't use it right now. So it's technically just a collectible, sitting around doing nothing, that's all. We can do a pull force modulation of this. For some reason, PB0 will not do it for some reason. Only one and two will work. I don't know why. It's like a quirk of the controller and the software and whatnot. Maybe it's not hardware compatible, I don't know. So let's um fetch our hang on find it um let me probably close that one here is our our pulver modulation code from the last video we're gonna do PB1 PB0 will not work for some reason I don't know why. It's not PWMing. It stays solid on all the time. Like we did. Now we have to manually enter program more like before. That was in program mode. We just upload it the same way like we did before. Sit in program mode, upload it, and then reset it. This controller has more memory and more power than the CH552, but less software support. I'm sorry, I feel like I keep repeating the same thing over and over again. I'm sorry about that. And now, when it's done, we reset the controller. As we can see, PB1 is flashing smoothly. Now, I have tried to randomize the LED using the random function. The problem is, this software driver, the random function does not exist. What I had to do was use the native C++ randomizer using the standard library. And this here is how you write the random function. It's a little awkward, but it, it is kind of random. I do have a seed on here, but it just changes the number of it. But it all seems to go in the same pattern. It is not like consistent. I don't know why. I'm gonna put it back in the program mode. Then I'll program this into this controller. It is not really random, but it's trying. So let's get it time to upload. Now I would say, based on your money and the software support, you're better off buying a CH552 over a W806. Only because the software support is better. We will reset the controller now. We can see it is flashing in a pattern but it's supposed to be completely random. I don't know why it's, it's it, it, it is not like the random function. It does not have its own random function. So it's a weird controller, I know. Not, it's not that good. I do have another PWM blank 
code that I have made myself that flashes all three of the lights. But like I said earlier, PB0 does not want to flash for some reason. It's all out of time. Let me go find it if I can. Um, let me see the EFG. It should be an A, I think. Let me find it. I have made this. Let me re-enter program mode on the controller. I will upload this code here. Yes, I know. I'm a slow I'm a slow YouTuber. I'm trying. I can't edit the video right now. I'm too lazy to reinstall the editor. Cause yes, I had computer problems not too long ago and lost all my work. I didn't get around to reinstalling everything. But I got a few of my things back, just I couldn't get Minecraft back. But the doing there was some stuff I covered in another video. I don't know you can't see because the camera bow, but the middle one, I have a program where the middle one flashes slower than, faster than the left one. The left one and the middle one flash fine, but the right one is always solid. If, I'm sorry for the camera glare. I, try, I, I, I don't have a good camera. I'm just using my iPad. That's all I have right now. But yeah, it's... PB0 does not PWM for some reason. I don't know why. I wish it would, though. So... If I remember, I'm going to put the link for this in GitHub. I might forget, but I'll try to remember. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you can do some of this controller that I can't do right now because the library is very unfinished. There's also an example using the hull drivers, but I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll let you do that, I guess. I hope you enjoyed this video. Just let my controller hang off the side of my board because... I don't know. <laughs> anyway, peace out and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.